Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Landon Productions, and I'm so freaking pissed off right now. I didn't go into a barbershop just now, sit down in a chair, and said, Can I get the Biebs haircut? So why the hell does it look like that I got the freaking Justin Bieber haircut? This is the worst haircut ever. I think the guy that did my hair did Justin Bieber's hair and made him look like a woman. And I, I freaking paid 20 freaking bucks for this shit, and I think I have to go redo it. I think this guy gave me, like, extra sideburns. And the back of my neck, like, it, it freaking hurts. I think this guy, like, cut me with something. Like, uh, well, let me tell you guys the whole story. So, I drove to the barber shop that I've been going to for the past maybe, like, six, seven years. I usually sit down in the chair and say nothing at all, because it's the same guy that does my hair for the last six, seven years. But this time I sit down and some freaking weird brown guy comes up to me. I know I'm brown myself, but I'm just saying, a freaking weird brown guy comes up to me and was like, uh, sit down. And I was like, uh, why? He's like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm the new guy. I was like, oh, shit. What happened to, what happened to the other guy? He's like, oh, I don't know. So I sit down in the chair and I don't know what to say to this guy. I don't know how, what to tell him. Like, I want, I want short on the sides and, and keep the tops like a bit longer, you know, like the, the usual. But I couldn't say the, the usual because it's not my guy. It's not my, my guy that does my hair. I have this new Justin Bieber barbershop guy that, that's going to be doing my freaking hair. So I sit down in the chair and was like, uh, yes, yeah, so I... I'd like to uh, comb my hair down and just keep it. Sh I don't know what to say to this guy. I, j I don't know what to say. So I didn't say anything to the guy, and he's like, "How do you want it?" I said, "Short, not too short, but short." He's like, "Okay." So he starts cutting it, and he takes the fucking spray bottle and he starts soaking me. I was so freaking. I was soaked. Like literally, like I just came out of a, a freaking shower out of the barber shop. So he soaked my hair and he combed it all back. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't comb my hair all the way back like that. I, I, comb, I keep it forward. He's like, okay. So he takes the comb and he, he combs it freaking forward. And I'm thinking, like, holy shit, like, what the hell is this guy going to do? So anyway, so he starts cutting my hair. And he starts grabbing the scissors. And I know these scissors are, like, to thin your hair out. And, like, what the hell are you doing, buddy? I don't want my, I don't want my hair to be thinned out. I just want it to be cut and short and looking good. I'll give you your money and I go my way. So he starts cutting it, and like, what do you say to the guy? Like, uh, yeah, can you not fucking use those scissors right there? Can you grab the proper scissors and just cut my friggin' hair? So anyways, and the guy beside us was the guy who like owns the, the, the barbershop. There's only two guys there. And that's, I, I kind of know that guy, but he's a bit older. And I know when he cuts my hair, he kind of like, he, he, uh, he cuts my head a little bit, right? And it's kind of, it's kind of bad, but like, he's getting old, but he doesn't want to give up his barbershop license. So he still cuts hair, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'll be good with this brown guy cutting my hair, because, you know, I'm brown, he's brown, we're, we're all good, you know? So he starts, he starts cutting it, and then the owner, he leaves. So it's like, okay, this is my time to, like, talk to the guy, you know, because this is going to be my new barbershop guy. So like, uh, so what happened to Georgie, the guy who used to work here? He's like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, because I've never known the guy. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so how long have you been cutting hair for? He's like, about 18 years. I was like, okay, okay, I have a chance. My hair has a chance. And then I was like, oh, so um, whose hair did you cut before? And he's like, Justin Bieber's. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? Like, I don't want to be looking like Bieber. I don't want the guy who cut Bieber's hair to do my hair. So, no, but he said he does uh, women's hair and ladies' hair for 18 years. I'm like, oh, fuck. This is probably the fucking guy who did Justin Bieber's haircut. So I'm just like, holy shit. Like, this guy, like, doing women's hair and doing men's hair is totally a different freaking thing. And this guy who does women's hair is doing my friggin' hair, and he doesn't know how to do it. Like, did I even get a haircut? Like, what did I pay 20 friggin' bucks for? And I tipped the guy friggin' $2. I didn't even want to do that. I should just said, bitch, give me all my money back. I don't want to tip you because I'm looking like Justin Bieber. And it's not like the older Justin Bieber who's like, who's kind of looking like he's growing up a little bit. It's like the friggin' 13-year-old Justin Bieber. That's what I look like. I'm going to be walking on the streets, and they're going to be like, whoa. Just 13 year old Justin Bieber, what the hell are you doing over here? And then I'm gonna get like a freaking crowd and. Okay. Like, I'm, just, I'm so pissed off because I paid 20 freaking dollars. You guys are probably like, that is so cheap. I'm, I'm brown, I'm cheap, but that's not the fact. The fact is, is that I have to go out again and get another freaking haircut. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm so pissed off.